Okay, so guys, guess what? I went on to my MetaQuest headset. I went to settings. I went to systems. I went to software update. And then look, I have this here as an available thing. Software update V68, which is interesting to me because as I understand it, not everyone has gotten V67 yet. So let's actually see some of what V68 will do. Version 68 includes Meta AI on MetaQuest, graphics and performance improvements on Quest 3, Safety Center update, keyboard improvement, layout utility app, and library enhancements, and more. Let's click on learn more so we can see what more we have in total. Okay, let's see. MetaQuest build 68 notes, okay? This is what we're looking at. MetaQuest mobile app is now uh, the Meta Horizon mobile app. Meta AI on MetaQuest. Meta AI on Quest is a new AI powered assistant that enables you to seamlessly access information, get insights about your real life surroundings, and control your device using voice because the MetaQuest had a built-in microphone. Get MetaQuest 3 with access to a catalog of games you can play instantly, enhanced and enhanced warranty coverage starting at $25 per month over 24 months at 0% APR. You can check out, oh, okay. So basically it's, uh, it's, uh, it's one of those things where you get the thing, but you make payments on it type thing. I believe um, this is, that's what it's getting at. But anyway, let's move on. Graphics and performance improvement, Quest 3 only. Um, so basically, that means no Quest 2, no Quest 1 for this. We've made a number of enhancements to Quest 3 graphics and performance. We reduced performance latency for a more immersive, comfortable, and lifelike experience. Quest 3 now supports content adaptive brightness controls, which reduces contrasts in darker scenes, improving the display experience. You can turn on the feature from experimental in settings. Okay. Safety updates. Okay. It experiences consist with what you can already do with your headset. Okay. Keyboard improvements. When you start a search or a chat, the keyboard will appear in a more optimal position and won't overlap with other screens. That's pretty cool. You can easily reposition the keyboard in your space, bring it closer or move it to the side, and the keyboard will reappear in a different default location based on what you were last doing and where you last positioned it. Wait, does that mean it's going to start like remembering stuff? Measure the square um, footage of your living room. Visualize the size and placement of a 72 inch TV on the wall. Oh, okay, so the layout utility app is getting more aligned. The photo frames on your wall. Okay, library improvements. Manage all of your downloads and 
app updates from the new download tab in your library. See what apps are in queue and prioritize apps you want to download first. We've also added a new all tab, all tab to your library, which shows all your apps and worlds in a single page. Okay. Improve graphic performance, your tonality is smoother and more responsive visual and mixed reality experience. Okay, with fewer delays and interruptions, low battery, backup management. Oh, it will be rolling up. Controller pairing with headset. Previously, you could only pair a controller to your headset using the Meta Horizon mobile app. You can now pair a controller to your headset um, from or rather by going to settings, then devices, then controllers, then select pair controller. Audio input balance and screenshot resolution improvement. Oh, so now you can take an actual, you know, oh, okay, okay, better screenshots. Okay, so far, this is not bad. This is not bad. So I think I'm going to update it. Yeah, I think I'm going to update it sooner than later. I actually have a question for you guys while I'm updating it. Do you guys ever hesitate updating your MetaQuest 3? Like, do you guys like making sure, like go online, make sure it's safe or whatnot first? Or do you guys just update? And I'm curious because much like my consoles and whatnot, I usually just update when there's an update and I'm on it. But I do know some people that do like to be cautious and wait until they figure out, make sure that it hasn't broken anything or anything. But yeah, I'm just rambling at this moment. Wow, that download is actually going pretty fast. But yeah, I'm going to end it off here. And hopefully you guys found this helpful. And tell me in the comment section below if you've gotten V68 popped up yet as an update. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.